With uh, farming, everything's about timing. Mm. If you miss a sizing spray or a thinning spray and you've missed that window, it's pointless going in afterwards to do it because it has no effect. This is where the data is really good. My name's Bill Avery. Uh, I'm the current farm manager here at uh, Talia Farms. I've uh, been growing table grapes now for 36 years across Australia and uh, a little bit of international work as well and have joined Superior Wilmot Farms and this being, being the table grape operations. Talia Farms bought the farm back in 2018 which was just a bare wheat paddock. So we've started from a greenfield uh, wheat paddock to 200 hectares of a proprietary variety table grapes. What we're seeing now is uh, this, the family farms are now becoming corporate in size. And that's the biggest change, whether they're buying out their neighbours or buying out new land uh, to become a, a size and scale where it's economic and also meets market demand. So it is obviously corporate farming. Now there's private corporate farming size. So that's the main change and in terms of the farms. And the other side of it is technology has to move with those guys as well because when you get into corporate size, multiple locations, you need a lot of technology for data feedback to understand what's happening on the farms. It's certainly the biggest change I've seen in the last five to 10 years is that technology change on farm. So we have conventional soil moisture monitoring systems in place and that's fine, that gives you spot data uh, on soil moisture levels around the root zone, but there's a lot of variability within a patch. And this is where the supplant system uh, takes all that information uh, of a whole patch, of a region, of an area, with multiple weather stations around the district and use a predictive algorithm where the most are reactive algorithms, this actually predicts going forward three to four days what water use the vine requires. Plus it's actually physically measuring the vine's growth. It backs up what you think you need to do and makes you more confident in making those irrigation decisions. Well, we're only in development phase. I'm really looking forward to when we're in production phase. Uh, that first difficult year, we only had our small temporary pump site. Uh, we could only water you know, daily for a couple of hours per patch. And we only had limited water supply, so we only had 38 megs to use, like say from April through to uh, end of the season and they certainly uh, assisted us in maximising water use efficiency. So we actually didn't run out of water, we kept the vines still growing, whilst not at their optimum, but they were still growing uh, happily and survived that uh, late heat wave we had last year. I'm really looking forward to the future when we've actually got a crop to grow. Um, because I've never used the supplant system or anything similar to that um, leading into a harvest season. So it's threefold. It can save you money in, in using water wisely. It can increase yield because you're putting the water on the right time. So increasing size and, and, and berry integrity and, and all that sort of stuff. And the other thing, it takes the guesswork out of critical decisions you need to make in terms of timing for um, plant physiology as well.